Three, two, one, ignition. We have. Energy allows us to travel to the outer space, to modernize our civilization, and to empower our imagination. As energy becomes more accessible, our modern life becomes more convenient. Living, cooking, and traveling are like a breeze. Most of the energy we consume are from fossil fuel, such as coal, oil, and natural gas. The convenience they brought comes with a heavy cost. Burning fossil fuel pollutes our environment, causing acid rains and greenhouse effect. We need other energy sources that do not harm our environment and still meet our increasing demand on energy. Nuclear power is emission-free. It's the largest clean energy source in the U.S., generating 55% carbon-free electricity for the country. However, nuclear energy produces radioactive waste. This waste is extremely toxic and can remain radioactive over millions of years. We cannot continue using nuclear energy if we cannot use it safely. So how can we address this issue? Let us seek inspiration from the nature. Did you know that we have natural nuclear reactors in Gabon, Africa? The radioactive waste they produce has been stored underground in mineral crystal for two billion years. Nature shows us it's possible to safely contain, store, and dispose nuclear waste. We can pack nuclear waste into crystals made of corrosion-resistant materials such as glass. And ceramics, and seal them into containers made by metal alloy. Like all other materials, glass, ceramic, metal will eventually break down and release nuclear waste into the environment. The key question here is whether these materials can withstand corrosion long enough until the radioactive waste decays to a safe level. Extensive research has been done on the corrosion of glass, ceramic, and metal. Yet we know very little about how these materials affect each other during corrosion. For example, does the corroded metal accelerate the corrosion of glass and ceramics, or maybe slow it down? To answer these questions, we need collaboration to study the science behind corrosion. In 2016, U.S. Department of Energy created WastePD, Center for Performance and Design of Nuclear Waste Forms and Containers. At WastePD, we have 13 research teams from nine institutions working together to study the environmental degradation of nuclear waste materials. One major challenge to our collaboration is communication. Material research is highly specialized. Each material class has developed its own terminology and methodology, just like a new language, to unify the science of different material classes. WastePD creates a framework called SETMET. The science of environmental degradation of materials. SETMED is like a universal language. It allows scientists to exchange their expertise and creativity across disciplines. Through SETMED, WISPD has formed a synergy based on the materials' commonalities and research methodology. All these efforts will lead us to a new height of understanding of material corrosion, helping us improve the safety of nuclear waste management. For more details, please visit our website, efrc.osu.edu. Thank you for watching.